Virtual learning will continue for Metro Nashville Public School students after winter break. The district is still very concerned about the spread of COVID-19. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell is at the district's headquarters. Aaron, when are you hearing the earliest students will be allowed to return back to the classrooms? Well, Hannah, it all depends on how the virus plays out, but the plan is to have them return back to the classrooms after the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, but they're just going to keep watching the virus and see how it spreads throughout Tennessee. But they are currently working with Meharry College to come up with a new plan and protocols to actually help with testing and to make sure everyone stays safe. This would include a testing program, external compliance monitors, and working on a vaccine distribution plan when it becomes available to school to the school district staff. And they plan to work with Mayor John Cooper and others to find an additional $18 million in funding to help implement these new programs. They've already allocated federal CARES Act funding towards hiring additional school nurses. Director of Schools Dr. Adrian Battle says in order to bring students back into the classrooms, the risk score needs to be below a 7 to begin phasing them back in. I know that many are bone tired of this pandemic and wanting it to end quickly. We all do. But as the recent numbers have shown, this virus is not done with us and we must remain vigilant if we're going to keep our students, staff and families safe. Now, the organization Let Nashville Parents Choose has spoken out openly against virtual learning. In fact, they had a rally a few weeks back about it, and they responded to Metro Public Schools in a tweet asking them to modify the reopening score system to include more relevant info, such as in-school transmission, and also consider how well in-person instruction went back in October in November. So again, they're not too happy about the virtual learning. So Ben and Hannah, there's a lot of different opinions on whether or not virtual learning is a good thing or bad thing, but Metro Schools plans to have sites open next semester for parents to go to if they have troubles with their children doing virtual learning.